The Federal Trade Commission reports that utility imposter scams are now topping the list in the U.S. Here in Colorado, Xfinity customers are being targeted by a new scam that appears via email. Let's go live now to Fox 31 problem solver Shell Turner with the red flags you should be looking out for. Shell. Well, here's what the issue is with these scammers. They can impersonate any business, like one of these businesses here along Broadway. But public utility businesses will be the number one type of business that they will impersonate, and they want your personal information. I don't have extra money for to be scammed. Maria Hess checked her email and received a notice from what seemed to be Xfinity. It said she needed a software upgrade on her cable box. And I'm like, okay, this is odd. But Hess called the number that was provided and spoke to a so-called representative. After that, a man identified as a supervisor got on the phone and said Hess qualified for a special offer. All she had to do was pay $199 to get the discount. You're going to get a $40 per month credit. I go, oh, okay, sure. Uh, this kind of sounds too good to be true. It was. Please Let's give it a try. try. The problem solvers called the phone number provided by the scammers. They have similar hold music. And found they were using another business's contact information. This is the Fox 41 problem solvers. Just letting you know that scammers are using your number to pose as Xfinity to try to scam people, just so you know. Okay. The FBI and Colorado's Attorney General have warned that that's a common trick, along with using fake photos on social media paired with high-pressure tactics. Don't act in the moment. And duping a familiar voice to terrify and threaten a family member. I call my mom and she doesn't answer. The Federal Trade Commission reports that in 2023, nearly 854,000 people filed complaints about imposter scams. That's 33% of all consumer fraud reports. That's why it's important to think first before providing personal information to any random stranger. I am just appalled at the links that the scammers will go to. Yeah, it is appalling. And also when they you know, spoof the phone numbers of these businesses, then they move on and then you may call and it's the actual business. You just don't know who you are talking to. So don't talk to them. Now, X, uh, Xfinity, I was going to say Excel, but this happens at Excel too. Xfinity is investigating this tonight, and they say they will never request that you make a payment uh, through a specific form of payment, like Zelle, gift cards, Venmo, or anything like that. And you can also sign up for scam alerts from Xfinity, so head to our website, kdvr.com. Click on this story for more information. Shaul Turner reporting live in Denver, Fox 31. All right, Shaul, thank you.